so in this lecture uh, we will discuss how to find the DTFT of the signal x of n is equal to a raised to modulus of n and one more condition is given modulus of a is less than 1 and uh, it's a very basic question uh, but uh, we need to take care uh, some points okay again uh, the formula for calculating uh, the Fourier transform of a discrete time signal is same uh, x of e raised to g omega is equal to sigma n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n e raised to minus g omega and in place of uh, x of n it is given uh, a raised to modulus of n okay now uh, now we can solve this problem we can write x of e raised to j omega which is equal to sigma n is equal to minus infinity to infinity a raised to modulus of n into e raised to minus j omega n now the signal is uh, a raised to modulus of n and we need to analyze this particular signal if you take uh, this modulus portion you can see that uh, we need to consider this signal uh, assume that this is n is equal to 0 here and this is n and when n is positive means this region when n is positive uh, we need to take this function as a raised to n is positive and towards left this region is n is negative so here we need to take this function as a raised to minus n that's the meaning of this uh, uh, modulus of n so in positive region it should be a raised to n and for negative you need to consider a raised to minus n and when you do this uh, problem in discrete time signal uh, we need to consider one more point that is uh, negative means we need to consider it's from minus infinity to minus 1 n value is from minus infinity to minus 1 and for positive region normally we will take from 0 to infinity there's a two limit uh, we need to consider one is from minus infinity to minus 1 and the waveform will be like this this is the normal shape of this a raised to modulus of n and you can see that uh, we need to consider the signal from 0 to infinity okay as a decaying signal similarly from minus 1 onwards up to minus infinity this region also is a decaying signal so it's a converging signal so we can see that uh, we need to take one limit from uh, uh, 0 to infinity and another is from minus infinity to up to minus 1 not up to 0 so normally in integration if it is a continuous time signal we will take from minus infinity to 0 but in the case of discrete time signal we need to take from minus infinity to minus 1 only okay another limit is from 0 to infinity so if you split the uh, summation it becomes uh, sigma n is equal to minus infinity to minus 1 a raised to minus n because in this region uh, the signal value is a raised to minus n into e raised to minus j omega n plus you can split the summation next we'll start from n is equal to 0 to infinity a raised to n uh, during the positive region the function value is a raised to n e raised to minus j omega n 
so we got two summation uh, we need to simplify these two summations okay again uh, another problem uh, there is no formula for calculating uh, minus infinity to minus 1 so we can do some modification uh, to simplify this summation so here it is minus and uh, here n is positive so now we'll change this minus infinity to minus 1 becomes uh, infinity to 1 so you can rearrange this uh, summation like this this I can write uh, like this n is equal to infinity to 1 if you write like this we need to change this a raised to minus n to a raised to n and similarly this a raised to minus j omega n to a raised to j omega n uh, remaining is same uh, sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity a raised to n e raised to minus j omega n again uh, this is some formula for calculating this uh, summation the standard formulas like this uh, if n is 0 to infinity a raised to n the summation result is 1 by 1 minus a provided if modulus of a is less than 1 and in this question uh, it's given modulus of a is less than 1 and if the summation is from 1 to infinity a raised to n a into 1 by 1 minus a so we can substitute these two results here so I can uh, rewrite this again uh, I can change this limit uh, as n is equal to 1 to infinity a raised to e raised to j omega you can take uh, n as a common factor plus again n is equal to 0 to infinity a e raised to minus j omega the whole raised to n so now we can uh, substitute the uh, result so I can write this uh, as equal to uh, a into e raised to j omega divided by 1 minus a e raised to j omega plus the remaining time I can write uh, is from 0 to infinity so simply it's uh, 1 by 1 minus a e raised to minus j omega so we got uh, two equations now we need uh, some more uh, simplification so I can cross multiply this uh, so you can write a e raised to j omega into 1 minus a e raised to minus uh, j omega plus 1 minus a e raised to j omega and the denominator the product of these two so a sorry 1 minus a e raised to j omega into 1 minus a e raised to minus j omega again uh, I can simplify uh, the result so in the numerator we can multiply a raised to j omega into a e raised to minus j omega uh, the remaining time uh, 1 minus a e raised to j omega if you simplify these uh, terms you can write uh, it becomes a e raised to j omega minus a square into e raised to j omega into e raised to minus j omega so it becomes e raised to 0 that's 1 so minus a square into 1 so remaining 1 
minus a e raised to j omega and in the denominator it's uh, 1 if you multiply with 1 1 minus a e raised to minus j omega again if you multiply with this term you will get a e raised to j omega minus into minus plus a square and uh, remaining if you multiply with uh, e raised to j omega and e raised to minus j omega it becomes 1 so we got this much and uh, here you can see that these two terms will cancel uh, a e raised to j omega and minus e raised to j omega remaining time is 1 uh, 1 and minus e square and the numerator also there is two terms uh, you can simplify this e raised to minus j omega and e raised to j omega so again if you take this result see cos theta can be uh, written as e raised to j theta plus e raised to minus j theta by 2 can be written as cos theta so if you come look at this equation there are two terms e raised to j omega and e raised to minus j omega so you can group these two right? so but uh, 2 is missing so we need to add 1 2 also so I can modify uh, this equation so it becomes 1 minus a square divided by 1 minus uh, I need to add a 2 here and a and if we group these two terms you can write cos omega plus a square so this is your uh, final result so if the signal is uh, x of n is equal to uh, a modulus of n your final result will be 1 minus a square divided by 1 minus 2 a cos omega plus a square so here we are doing one more uh, simplification by using this Euler's formula cos theta is equal to e raised to j theta plus e raised to minus j theta by 2 so we are grouping these two times by taking a common and uh, there is a shortage of 2 so we are multiplying numerator and denominator by 2 so after that you are getting cos omega okay. uh, now we will discuss uh, another question uh, which is x of n is equal to 2 raised to n into u of n uh, again uh, we need to use uh, when you when you want to find out ddft of the signal we will use uh, this formula x of e raised to g omega sigma n is equal to minus infinity infinity x of n etc uh, but if you want to use this particular equation uh, there is a condition uh, the condition is uh, or I can say that uh, x is tens of uh, dtft or in order to find uh, the Fourier transform or DTFT of a signal by using this formula uh, it should satisfy one condition okay the condition is given by uh, Sigma n is equal to minus infinity to infinity modulus of X of n should be less than infinity or I can say that uh, the signal uh, should converge if you add the signal from minus infinity to infinity the sum should be less than infinity but if you take uh, this signal which is uh, x of n is equal to 2 raised to n into u of n and if you substitute uh, the n value here you will get uh, it becomes 2 raised to 1 2 square 2 cube plus etc etc up to 2 raised to infinity and this result becomes infinity so this signal will not converge so it will not will not converge or I can say that uh, this condition will not satisfy if this condition is not satisfying the Fourier transform of the signal 
डी टी एफ टी ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर सिग्नल डस नॉट एक्सिस सो दिस इज टू राइज टू एन इन यू ऑफ एन सो एंड इट लॉट सैटिस्फाई दिस कंडीशन दिस इज द एक्सिस्टेंस ऑफ डी टी एफ टी इफ इट सैटिस्फाई दिस इक्वेशन आई कैन यूज दिस फॉर्मूला इन दिस केस टू राइज टू एन इन यू ऑफ एन सिग्नल इफ यू एनलाइज द सिग्नल इट विल नॉट कन्वर्ज सो इट विल नॉट कन्वर्ज मीन्स डी टी एफ टी कैनॉट फाइंड बाई यूजिंग दिस सिक्शन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस डी टी एफ टी वी कैन से दैट डी टी एफ टी डज नॉट एक्सिस्ट we'll do one more problem in this lecture and uh, this is dtft uh, of del of n minus k we already discussed what will be the discrete time for it and sum of del of n now we'll discuss the dtft of del of n minus k uh, again we need uh, the formula uh, that is uh, x of e raised to j omega is equal to x of n e raised to minus j omega n. and uh, what is del of n minus k that we need to check del of n minus k you can write which is equal to 1 4 n minus k is equal to 0 or i can say n is equal to k and for all other value it's 0 or i can say when n not equal to k that's the meaning of uh, del of n minus k it exists only when n is equal to k so if you take a graph here n here n is equal to 0 this point is n is equal to 0 and here assume that n is equal to k at this particular point the signal magnitude is 1 and this is the signal del of n minus k and for all other values the function value is 0 okay only n is equal to k the signal exists and if you are finding the fourier transform or if you are evaluating this summation it's from minus to infinity to infinity so we don't want to calculate the first for entire range so i can write uh, x of e raised to j omega is equal to we need to evaluate this uh, del of n minus k e raised to minus j omega n only when n is equal to k so when del of n minus k is equal to 1 for n is equal to k so i can substitute n is equal to k here so you will get e raised to j omega k so this is the answer for del of n minus k in the next lecture uh, we will discuss uh, three questions Uh, x of n is equal to del of n plus 2 minus del of n minus 2 so already we uh, discuss what is del of n minus k so from that you can calculate this uh, another question uh, is again a uh, two part which is uh, u of n in one part and another part u of minus n minus 1 so similar question we already discuss you can try this also and another one is uh, again the rectangle pulse and the function magnitude is uh, a or amplitude is a for a particular range modulus of n less than or equal to n and for all other values n uh, if greater than that capital n it's zero so we'll discuss uh, 